Having looked at the uh, pit special in the MSFS aircraft manual for a few weeks now, I thought to myself, Jono, time to take it for a spin and see if you can fly this. So I've trundled out to uh, a strip in southern New South Wales near Michelago and uh, this is my first flight in this particular plane. Interesting to see how uh, well I handle it. Already I can tell it's nice and touchy. Loads of power. There we go, your Melman off takeoff, that's pretty good. Nice and low, controllable and a low level bit of overcorrection there, that's uh, something that a bit of practice would fix I'm sure. So we'll spend most of our time at low level, no sense in getting too high and uh, suffering from a lack of oxygen, the brain thinks better down close to the ground. So I'm glad it's a red paint sc scheme on this because uh, Oh, inverted, yes, and just straighten up on the runway, and roll out, that was quite good, a little bit uncontrolled, but uh, anyway, down there's the Murrumbidgee River, in the uh, Murrumbidgee River Corridor, there's the uh, Monero Highway between uh, Canberra and Cooma, the old railway line, and this strip is in a nice bit of flat ground between the uh, old railway line and the new highway. So another low level beat up. This time we'll uh, point the nose straight up. I'm looking at the wrong side because I don't have any uh, triangle markers on this side. However, it doesn't matter. Let me just try a uh, hammerhead. Well, we call it still turn, but didn't quite have enough authority left so it sort of fell out of the sky like a hammerhead and a gentle roll out this time a couple of rolls three and once again that little bit of uh, overcorrection coming out of the roll Quite possibly a bit easier in the real plane because you, this, these flight models have a little bit of momentum that the uh, real one doesn't appear to be when you're looking at videos. So what have we got here? Ooh, this is <laughs> an attempted four point roll and yeah. I basically messed that up because uh, I didn't realise how quickly it would fall out of the sky doesn't seem to be quite as much rudder authority to keep it pointing up between the side turns. Anyway, a bit later we'll try a, um, God, I can't remember what they call it, a side pass. Yeah, here we are. So, full rudder, bit of aileron, try and hold the nose nut, see? but it just doesn't have the authority to keep the nose up. So we'll try again this way, a bit more nose up, hold the rudder, but no, the uh, plane wants to level out against the rudder, so we'll give that a miss. So having uh, practiced a few arrows, let's go and see what the surrounding countryside's like. Farm down here has got a nice big dam. Don't reckon they'd get that approved under the 10% rule anymore. And uh, just down there is uh, the back paddock of this property. 
hope they don't mind us flying low and hard over their back paddocks because we're going looking for the Murrumbidgee River which I know is directly ahead and just down there so we'll see if we can follow it without crashing pretty, uh, pretty tight turns bit of G the main thing is oh, not to get so low that if a super sharp bend comes up you can't make your way out of it so once you can see a little bit of river ahead get down low you're established in a reasonable corridor you can fly down the river between the trees just it's not going to be for too long though I've swum in the swimming hole just down about there just there and now we come over Karaloo here's the uh, tractor Track leading down to the Murrumbidgee, back blocks of the property. There's the Baruna Road corner. I'm sure the neighbours have absolutely no problem with a uh, high performance aerobatic aircraft scooting low over their properties. Not when they know the pilot's having such fantastic fun. All right, we found the strip again. Time for a last few bits of fun. Zero feet. And we'll turn out over the... I uh, don't know if it's a homestead or just a collection of hangars. I haven't actually been to uh, see it. I presume there's some sort of accommodation there. And we'll try a bit of a wrong ways push over beautifully behaved little aircraft descending roll aileron roll once again zero feet this time not down the strip but towards it one two three four five for those I think beautiful country around here isn't it it's almost the Monero I don't know if it is the Monero down this far north about 10 k's south of Michelago alright reckon I've done it and we'll go in for a uh, curving landing approach Well, you don't want to get stabilised and, you know, 10 miles out and stabilised and just sitting there as the altitude bleeds off and you just got to keep the nose point towards the runway. Boring. Much more fun to try and judge a nice curving approach, especially when it's into a skinny little dirt runway. Juggle the power. Bit on, bit off, bit on, bit off. I imagine this thing stalls pretty quickly when you run out of airspeed, so we'll keep it up. It's Ten knots above the bottom of the green arc. And I reckon we're pretty good chance of getting down at this point. Boom. 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 doesn't like that uh, settling down on that rough ground which the simulator might over simulate a little bit but we won't go there all right nicely centered touch on the brakes and we pull up so as we uh, taxi back towards where we expect uh, a triumph